Hey guys, it is April from Getting Hooker With It. I wanted to share with you the books that I am hoping to read this summer. I've got quite a list here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine books here. I probably won't get to all of these, but these are the books that are kind of calling my name for the summer. I want to read so many thrillers. I'm in a real thriller mood, and there's something about summer that I just drawn to them. So let's get into it. Okay, first up, it is Our Kind of Cruelty by Araminta Hall. This is about a stalker, and it's from the point of view of a stalker. And I haven't read anything like that really since You by Carolyn Kepnes. And I miss that. So in this book, we follow Mike and he has groomed himself to be the ideal man for Verity. Um, he's totally in love with her. He thinks that she's totally in love with him. However, she's marrying somebody else. But he thinks this is all just part of the game. And I really want to see how this pans out. It sounds really creepy and eerie and totally up my alley. Another creepy book, The Woman in Black by Susan Hill. I've already read this, but I kind of, I really want to reread The Woman in Black because it was so eerie. It's very, very short. I want to read it on like one of those hot nights where there's a thunderstorm. I, I really want to wait for that. So this is about a man. He's a junior solicitor and he has to go to this um, this mansion essentially uh, a woman has died there and he's just taking care of her affairs after she has passed away he gets stuck there one night and he quickly realizes that he's not alone and there's a ghost in the house and the ghost doesn't want him there it's really disturbing and so perfect for a thunderstorm so I just have to wait for the right one and then this is coming out I also really want to read In the Vines by Shannon Kirk. This one is coming out in mid-July. And this is set on a seaside estate. And we follow Mop. Uh, she is born into a very wealthy family. Uh, her mother has recently passed away very mysteriously. And she is going back to the seaside estate to visit her Auntie Liv. And it seems like Auntie Liv has plenty of secrets that she's been harboring on her own. And I think you find out what all of the secrets are here. It sounds really, really perfect for summer. A seaside estate, a mystery, a mysterious death. I really want to read this. So I'm picking that one up this summer for sure. I also really want to read My Cousin Rachel. I've talked about this so many times. This has been on so many TBRs and yet it's still here unread. Uh, this is about a man named Philip who was an orphan and he goes to stay with his cousin and his cousin and him are incredibly close. His cousin goes on this trip and he marries someone on this trip. He also dies while he's on the trip and uh, his widow comes to stay at the estate where Philip lives and her name is Rachel and he starts wondering, oh my goodness, did Rachel somehow you know, kill my cousin. What in the world is this woman about? And is she dangerous? And I really want to find out if she is or not. Okay, so we've had a lot of like creepy reads. Uh, next, I also really want to read Eleanor Oliphant. It's completely fine. Everyone who has read this seems to have loved it. This is about a girl named Eleanor who is okay with her life. She goes to work, she goes home. But on the weekends, she drinks a lot. She's not entirely doing well. And in this book, she meets an elderly man who has fallen. And this guy from her IT um, staff in her, in her company that she works for. And the two of them help this old man and they create this friendship together. And 
I think it's about their story. I'm really excited to meet Eleanor. Apparently you fall completely in love with Eleanor and I can't wait. I would also really like to read The House Swap by Rebecca Fleet. This is a thriller about a couple whose marriage is not doing very well. They decide to like have a little getaway. They do house swap. They get in. The marriage still is not doing great while they're there. Uh, but the woman in this couple named Carolyn, she starts to see little things in the house that seem like they were put there for her. The songs that play um, in the CD player are definitely relevant to her. Even the flowers that are chosen at this, at this home are her favorites. And it just seems like someone knows her. Someone might be there. I don't know if someone is also living in the house with them in a creepy way, but that's what I'm hoping happens. I'm hoping that there's somebody in the attic living there that she knew, oh, I want it to be a horrible ending, like something horrible like that. And I don't want anyone to live. I also want to read Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. Plan is to read this very soon. Who knows if that will happen? But this is about a single mother who is able to finally go out for the, for the night on her own. She goes and gets drinks and she meets a guy and they kiss. And then the next day she goes into work, her new job, and she finds out, holy crap, that's my new boss. Um, so she meets her new boss in this really random way, an awkward way. She also meets his wife in another awkward way. And then it seems like this couple is strange. I think there's something weird going on with this couple and she gets caught in the mix. I've heard really good things about this and I'm very, very excited to read it. I would also really like to read The Lifeboat by Charlotte Rogan. This is about a ship that goes down um, and various people survive by staying on this little lifeboat, but they're all of different classes. This takes place in like 1914. So class really played an enormous role at this time. So there's people of higher class and lower class. They're all in a lifeboat. And I'm assuming if I was in a lifeboat and it's like life or death moments here, I would not really care if you were a multimillionaire or not. I wouldn't care who you were. So it's about the dynamics of this group of strangers on a lifeboat. Sounds amazing. And I'm very, very eager to pick that one up. And then finally, I really want to read Karen Slaughter's new book, Pieces of Her. This is coming out in August and I'm so freaking excited to read this. This is about, it's like a mother daughter story. Um, this mother and daughter are out at the mall and a very violent act happens. Um, the daughter um, in this mother-daughter duo, her name is Andrea, and she sees her mother like spring into action in this moment in a way that she was like totally unexpected. To, she didn't expect to see her mom acting this way. And it, it seems like her mom had an entirely different life before Andrea was born and you find out what that life entailed. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited that there's a new Karen Slaughter out and it's a standalone. Like I do want to get into her detective series. She has two detective series, I believe. I would like to get into those, but I still have to work my way through her standalones and I've got two now that I haven't read. And so I'm going to do that first and pieces of her is first. Hooray! So those are all of the books that I really want to read this summer. I'm so in the mood for thrillers. It's unbelievable. So let me know in the comments below what book you are most excited to read this summer and I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye guys.